Hi, and welcome to At Home Art Lessons with the Art Groupies, Developing Great Art Habits. We're going to be working with this groupie, Wanda. Wanda understands the art worlds. She knows that, that art is just more than creating and painting and drawing. That making connections with the art world of other cultures helps us have personal inspiration and meaning. We're going to take a field trip with Wanda and we're going to be going to Africa. We're going to be joined by John Bonovich. He is an American artist from the great state of Montana. He's been inspired by the Jungle Book and his dad had a great love of outdoors. He is a wildlife artist and a conservationist. He creates these dramatic portrayals of life with impressive detail. Yes, this is a painting, not a photograph. He spends so much time out in the field, especially in the fields of Africa, studying the animals, watching them, and that's how he's able to create these beautiful paintings. So we're going to be inspired today by his giraffes. We're going to be doing a close-up view of a giraffe's head. So our focus is just going to be of our giraffe's head. We're going to create form by using the simple element of line. We're going to start off with some very simple shapes, breaking down this complicated animal into very simple shapes. So if we just look here at the snout, it resembles the letter U. So we're just going to create the letter U. We're then going to create another letter U for the head. When we break things down into simple shapes, things become much easier to draw. We're going to do another U up here for his horns. And we can attach them with just simple vertical lines. They have a cute little fuzz at the top. The eyes are right here on the sides. We're just going to go ahead and color them in. They have super large ears. We're just going to do a little petal shape for the ear. It's okay if we go off the side of the paper. For his nose, or his snout, his nostrils are two ovals going sideways. We're going to take this up here for the coloring, for the markings or texture of our giraffe. We're going to add not so much detail, but we're going to have some of this beautiful shapes come in here on our giraffe. We're going to add the giraffe's neck with a simple line that's going diagonal. going to add again some more of those beautiful textured shapes that a giraffe is known for having. So voila. I'm going to now, before I start painting, I'm going to add in my foreground some branches with simple shapes for his leaves or his lunch. I'm going to use pastels and I'm not spending much time on it, just very simple ovals. I'm going to use a variety of colors to add some value and to make it look a little bit more interesting. Again, this isn't really our focal point. 
you want to make it look like our giraffe is eating, you can absolutely have some leaves munching out of his mouth. I'm going to add the darkest color last and kind of outline it. When we outline things, it creates a nice contrast. Again, I'm not really going to spend too much time with my branches and my leaves that the giraffe is going to be munching on because my focal point is my giraffe. So we're going to be using a craft sponge today to fill in our giraffe's color. If you don't have a craft sponge, you can make one, cut it into a simple piece, and then use a clothesline clip for your voila sponge. Artists will use sponges to create texture. So our texture of our giraffe is going to be made with double dipping of white and yellow paint. We're going to do the background color first. Again, this is called double loading. When I took my paintbrush or my sponge and I double loaded it, makes for a more interesting and more natural looking appearance of our giraffe's color. We're doing behind the spots of the giraffe first. Again, John Bonovich from Montana often spent many years in Africa in the savanna painting beautiful African animals. The giraffe is actually um, an endangered species. Most of them are found in captivities at zoos. They like to eat leaves and, and flowers. Now don't worry if you go over things because we are always going to go back in with some paint. We're just laying the foundation right now of our colors. And again, I'm double loading my paintbrush with some tempera paint to create the background color behind the pattern of the giraffe. John Bonovich was known for using the money towards um, the money of the, the sale of his artwork towards habitats for animals that are in need and in need of protection. So like Wanda said, art is more than just creating. He creates a safe haven for animals. So I'm not going to bother cleaning off my sponge for my spots. I'm going to keep that color on there because it makes it a little bit more interesting. I'm going to double load a coppery brown that I have and an orange. And I'm going to now start filling in my spots. Or in this case they kind of look more like rectangles than spots. Like I was saying, John uses a lot of his money that he makes from his paintings to help save the animal's habitat. Also do a lot of work educating the public and the people of the African nation as to what needs to be done to help these animals. So he is the type of artist that knows the art world and does more than just create artwork. He's all about creating.
creating a a vision and exploring ideas through his art. John Bonovich from Montana. Now to get into these small little areas, you might have to turn your sponge a little sideways. And again, don't worry if you get out of line. Just makes for a more natural looking animal or in this case a giraffe. It's much easier to go over the areas that didn't come out so well instead of vice versa, laying the spots down first and then doing the background color. This way you're only overlapping it once. And I know where those spots are for the nose, so it's okay if I cover them up. I was just laying the foundation. horns. Put it inside of his ear. It's a little darker. Use a smaller skinnier brush to go back in and add that detail that I kind of lost with the fuzziness of the painting of this sponge double loading. So I'll add beautiful eyelashes. Nice long eyelashes. Add the nostrils back in there. The snout. Try to clean up this part here some contrast as to where that shape is for my giraffe. Add in some of that mean that they have. I like using the black to really emphasize, makes a nice contrast. Clean up this line down here. And you don't have to worry if there's not a lot of paint on your brush. It kind of makes a nice natural type line. Finish off by adding some more of that hair up here that I kind of lost in his cute little horns. Straighten up those lines a little bit. And last but not least, I'll use that white paint to add into that pupil for his eye to make him look alive. There we go. So voila, my giraffe. And our famous artist was John Bonovich from Montana. Have fun using the double loaded sponge to create the texture of our animal. And we used the black to outline so we could create contrast. So thanks for joining us. Hope you had fun creating your giraffe.